I had done a movie with the same producer, Damon Hillen, um, in Thailand, where he primarily shoots a few months prior called Battle for Saipan, which is another, another movie that um, Saban released, also starring Casper in Lewis, Lewis in particular, who I can't get rid of. Um, anyway, we had a great experience on that movie, which very, very different. It's a martial arts movie set against the war. Um, so a few months later, um, I, I knew that, this, that the flood was coming because while we were shooting in Thailand, they were talking about how they were gonna build a police station in a pool, um, which we ended up building a police station in abandoned buildings. Um, but anyway, um, the original director couldn't do it. And Damon called me one night and said, hey, um, hopefully you can go to Thailand soon. There's this movie that uh, you're, that Chad Wall wrote and um, we lost the director on what you want. And um, Chad is an old friend of mine, actually the last movie I acted in, uh, Daylight Sand, he was the writer of. Um, he recently did um, Section 8 with uh, Scott Adkins, Dolph Lundgren, and Dermot Maroney. Uh, he and his writing partner, Josh, wrote this. So I, sight unseen, said yes. And really the rest was history. A few months later, we were in Thailand uh, building uh, Louisiana and Asia. Yeah. In writing the script, Chad and Josh really harken back to uh, Alexandra Aja's Crawl um, from, I think from 2018, I believe. And there's bits and pieces of Hard Rain, which uh, people may remember, uh, starred Christian Slater and Morgan Freeman, and bits and pieces of Assault on Precinct 13 from John Carpenter, um, which was remade, I believe, around 2000. So it's, it's really kind of a, a throwback to you know, those kind of gritty, like 70s sensibility action movies where, you know, that are prone thing very rated R. And also just there's a certain, certain panache to them, like a certain grit, a certain texture um, to these characters. Like you, you, you can, you can look at these characters and you can tell that they've lived. So it, it's really, it really honors those things with um, us putting our own style on it as well. So there's nothing wrong with these because they make a lot of money and people love them, but I, I didn't want it to be like a, a Sharknado type movie. Um, I wanted it to feel still like, even though it was a slightly different genre than I've been doing, I still wanted it to feel like my type of movie and still have a lot of the, the sensibility and style um, you know, that I like to do with the camera and the way that the characters interact. I, I wanted it to feel like, a movie that, you know, if you want to see a creature movie, it's there. If you want to see an action movie, it delivers. Um, you want a popcorn movie, it delivers overall. So yeah, I just, I wanted it to be something that kind of felt like a Frank Miller graphic novel, Frank Miller wrote Sin City, um, meets like an Asian action movie, which is kind of my jam. It's just a play on words. Um, I've seen people say, I, you know, they're like, uh, yeah, you know, um, uh, this, as, as an example, I'll cut this shorter. Um, yeah, like, yeah, I made movies with cussing and blood down home like mom used to make them, just figure of speech. <laughs> but uh, no, my mom has no connection to R rated movies in the 80s or politically. They were actually both on the movie before I came on. Um, Casper, I knew from my movie Battle for Saipan and we became fast friends. Um, and Nikki also worked with, with Damon, the producer on a movie called Maneater that came out, I guess maybe about a year ago now. And um, so, you know, Damon um, likes to use a lot of the same people if he's had a good experience with them because he likes that, that familial aspect. So, you know, they were both already on it. Um, Nikki is, um, I guess I get along with Australian actors really well, Louis Mandalore being one of them. And he was actually cast after I was brought on because I can't get rid of her. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, Nikki's very like salt of the earth and kind of a badass. So everyone just clicked instantly. It's, um, th these are people I would have on a movie anytime I can, if I'm allowed to.
it, a, lo a lot of these movies, people use like a tennis ball on a stick. And I feel like we had something like that, or we had like a stick with green paint on it or a ribbon or something. Um, the reason I, I can't remember is because a lot of, most of the shoot we did overnight and it was just like adrenaline, go, 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 go. So my memory's kind of scrambled, but there was always some kind of object or frame, point of reference where, you know, we'd make sure that people were looking the same direction, like make sure like one person's looking this way and the other person's not looking that way and is looking this way instead. So it's a lot of making sure that our minds were kind of linked and that we were always on the same page and just so that they felt the space. So long story short, we all had, had to kind of build all this, this trust that that I was going to give them the right direction to make them not look like fools acting against something that's invisible. The next one coming out is the movie I actually shot before the flood called Arena Wars, which is uh, basically if the director Paul Verhoeven, who did Starship Troopers and Robocop, if he did Running Man. So it's a really kind of like satirical, tongue in cheek, very violent, but very funny um, movie called Arena Wars about a violent game show. Um, and then after that, I think it's looking like, and I say this because this is kind of happening in real time as of um, been talking to people today, it looks like I'm going to Asia with a different company uh, to do a martial arts movie with a martial arts star. And if this was tomorrow, I could probably tell you who, but I'm sworn to secrecy. It's my name, Brandon Slagle, B-R-A-N, oh, I can't spell my own name. B-R-A-N-D-O-N-S-L-A-G-L-E. Um, it's the same URL on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram. God help me on TikTok. Um, not always on those. Um, Instagram's probably the best one to, to find. So it'll be stuff about an, an old 1980s thing. Just, I want people to have a good time. I want you to rent it after you had a terrible week at work and get Burger King or Carl's Jr. or like the worst fast food imaginable and a six pack of your adult beverage of choice and just have a great time. 